wouldn't be anything. Starts at four in the morning. Yeah, and then then it will just say sunny all day long, but you're going to be stuck indoors for 16, 18 hours yeah. on yeah. Sunday. Yeah. All right. All right. Look who it is. Super Bowl. Five. Marshall. We got, uh, CBS Sports Director Marshall Harris here Good with us morning. this morning. I am here. Yeah, and we'd love seeing you here on the show. I, I wish it were for a better reason. Um, yeah, you know what? Uh, we look right now at a time in which the world is shocked. Yeah. The sports world, specifically the NBA world, more specifically, uh, the death of Kobe Bryant in a tragic accident, helicopter crash yesterday, and immediately people honoring. Uh, the man that was really a living legend, not only in Los Angeles, but around the world. Uh, you have to remember so many fans in China waking up this yeah. morning, realizing uh, mm -hmm. that Kobe Bryant, who had millions of fans uh, in the Far East, uh, their, their legend is gone. Uh, of course, the daughter uh, of Kobe Bryant, also on that helicopter, 13-year-old Gigi, who he said was going to continue his legacy. Yeah. Remember, it's a man who was the father of, of four girls. This yeah. is a 15-time... Uh, all NBA player, five time champion, uh, two time Olympic gold medalist, Kobe Bryant, a Laker for life, 20 years in a Lakers uniform. And really, the outpouring, the sentiment, the tributes they began yesterday, uh, the Atlanta Hawks in the game, a moment of silence uh, to honor Kobe beforehand, where players took the court visibly distraught. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of these players played with Kobe, against Kobe, grew up idolizing Kobe Bryant. Yeah. So they honored him beforehand. And then the game starts, and this was a really neat tribute. Uh, in basketball, you have 24 seconds right. to, get the, to get the ball up, to mm -hmm. shoot the ball, get it on the rim. Uh, teams taking a 24-second violation to yeah. start the game. And then also in you honor have an of eight. Number eight. He is going to take an eight-second backcourt yeah. violation. Ball, and they will take a 24-second violation. So the two numbers that Kobe Bryant wore in his career, number eight and number 24, being honored. Again, the backcourt violation, you have eight seconds to get the ball across half court. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, how does that line up? Where a yeah. guy whose two numbers are eight and 24, that you can honor him that poignantly. Uh, certainly, it was an emotional day. As you saw there, Trey Young, one of the guys who uh, really ha had himself a day in uh, a win, but the wins and losses didn't matter. And to remind us of that, a guy who coached against Kobe for so many years, Doc Rivers, the head coach of the Los Angeles Clippers. I just don't have a lot to say. I, uh, the news is just devastating to everybody uh, who knew him, known him a long time. I mean, this is just shocking news for all of us. And, Sorry, I don't have a lot to say. Uh, I just can't. I uh, have to go talk to a team uh, before a game and tell them to play a, a, a game. A lot of people just uh, not having the words to try to compose themselves. There was talk about canceling, postponing games yeah. uh, yesterday, but games were literally about to tip off right when this happened. Mm. And immediately when the news broke on TMZ, and then spread to other media outlets. Mm -hmm. uh, people started gathering immediately at Staples Center. I'm not sure if they ever left Staples Center. Yeah. Gathering there, uh, the Grammys were there last night. Right, and they the were Gra asking people to stay away they were, because. Oh no, you, you there, cannot keep not, people no. away when Kobe Bryant comes to his untimely death in this mm -hmm. manner. And the outpouring has started. I don't know when it will stop. Right. Uh, expect tributes all week long. We haven't heard from the Kings yet. They're in Minnesota uh, playing the Minnesota Timberwolves this afternoon. Of course, Luke Walton, head mm -hmm. coach of the Kings, played with Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Uh, we'll hear from him uh, after morning shoot around this morning. Uh, but really, a lot of people still kind of in shock. Yeah. It just caught people off guard. I know when I read the news, I was like, this, this can't be. That, I think everybody did that. Yeah. Everybody yeah. thought, everybody this is one of those hoaxes. This is not funny, you know, on Instagram and whatever else. But it, unfortunately. So you worked in time. Philadelphia before we, we stole you from Philadelphia. Revered yeah. in Philadelphia. I was about to ask you, what was it like, you know, and what are your friends back in Philly talking about? Because he, he was. It was like, he was their guy. A lot of people are honestly in shock. Shock is the best way I can use to describe it. A lot of people feel like even if they didn't know Kobe, and a lot of people did meet Kobe over the time that he was, um, you know, in the NBA, even before then, remember he played basketball at Lower Marion High School mm -hmm. in the suburbs of Philadelphia. So there is an attachment to that city. Remember, the night before, Saturday night, LeBron James in mm -hmm. Philadelphia yeah. passes yeah. him on the all-time scoring list to become uh, the fourth highest scorer in NBA history. It, 
there's just a lot going on, yeah. you know, and, and as much as he's loved in Philadelphia, being, me being a Southern California native, I feel like uh, the city of L.A. feels like he belongs to us because he, he played his whole 20 years with it. And I described him as he, he's as much a symbol of L.A. as the Hollywood sign. Like when you see him, you think Los Angeles Lakers, and there's very few people like that. You have to remember for an entire generation of basketball fans, he is ever. When you play somewhere for 20 years, yeah. that's the entirety of, of people's life. People who are my age or even younger, they literally grew up and they knew Kobe was synonymous, as you said, yeah. with the city of Los Angeles. And really, bigger than that, basketball. You can't talk about the NBA without Kobe, who will be inducted into the Hall of Fame first ballot later on this yeah. year. And definitely sure. transcends the game of basketball. You know, a lot of people here in Sacramento as Kings fans remember that horrible, you know, the back and forth between the Lakers and the Kings. Yeah, it was just yeah. this whole thing. But you had to give it up because Kobe, when he got on that floor, he was going to show you who Kobe yeah. Bryant was. And Kobe certainly showed us all. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. More good day on the other side of the break.